All right, so we've talked a lot of theories so far, all of this uh, binary if statements and Boolean data type, Boolean variables, Boolean expressions, right? The, the logical operators and or not, the comparison operators, right? Greater than, greater than, equal to, etc. cetera. Um, let's get some practice now with this passcode checker. I'll do the first uh, two um, things in this assignment and you'll do the rest. Um, I've got the assignment here and there's a link to the start code. I've got that open right here already. And I got the program running right here. Um, and anyway, the idea here is that it's a, it's a passcode checker program. We put numbers in here, and based on the criteria, we check the passcode, and this should turn green or red. All right? And then I have a whole list of criteria here. And you know what I want to do? I want to copy and paste this. I actually should have put that in the start code. Paste it into here. And then we'll hit Control forward slash to comment that out, just so that I can have, have this open and, and not have to switch between the tabs there. Okay, so there's 10 criteria. I'll do the first two with you, and you can do the rest. Um, the main idea behind this is we've got our input elements right, the button, and then this paragraph with the ID status. And we're going to be changing the, the color of this. Um, the start code already has the event listener, and we get these code 1, code 2, code 3 to store the values of these input elements as numbers. Okay, so we're going to start with a, a Boolean or sorry, Boolean, binary if statement, right? If something is true, do that, else do this. And let's just do something really simple to start with. Let's just say if code one equals five, then what I want to do is I want to get the element with the ID status, and I want to, that's that paragraph, right? It has the ID status. And I want to be able to, just want to give myself a little more room here. I want to access the dot style attribute, so that'll give this a style attribute, and then I can access CSS properties here. So I'm going to do background color, and now I'm, I don't do a colon like I do in CSS. This is JavaScript. This is a, actually a, like a variable, and we have to assign it to be green. Now it's still giving me, giving me an error because when I do um, JavaScript, hyphens are not allowed. CSS, that's supposed to be by background, background hyphen color. But JavaScript variables aren't allowed to have hyphens in them. So when we do something, a CSS property that has a, a hyphen, we need to delete it and change the, the start of the second word to a capital, that camel casing, background color. Okay, and then we'll copy this, Control C, uh, Control V, and we'll change this to red. So this, this is not five right now, so it should change it to red, good. If it is five, it should change it to green. Great. All right, so now that that's set up, we're not going to touch this binary if statement. We're just going to play around with practicing our Boolean expressions here. So the first one, we're going to check if code 1 equals 10. Okay, code 1 equals 10. That's easy. And code 2 is equal to 20. Okay. Now remember to do the triple equal sign for comparison, right? The single equal sign is the assignment operator. This is, uh, we want this to check if they're equal. Um, or, okay, so the or now is that double vertical bars, or code 3 equals 30. Okay, so this is a pretty complicated one to start off with, right? This is true, and this is true, or this is true. And remember the order of operations. It's just like multiplication. We'll do it left to right. And prettier, if I save this, yeah, prettier puts in those parentheses there, which really, it does make it more clear. It's basically telling me that this needs to be true, or this needs to be true. So with the or, at least one of these expressions is true. So if I started by making this 30, it doesn't matter what the other two are, right? As long as one side of the or is true, then this should be green, right? These, this could be negative 987, this could be this. It's still green because as long as this is 30, we're good. But if this is not 30, then no good then the only way this is going to be true is if this entire statement here is true, right? Because this side is false, so we, the or says that, well, this could be true. Let's see if that works. So in order for this to be true, code 1 equals 10 is not enough, right? Still not true. This expression is only true with the and if both of them are true. So we need the 10 and the 20. It'll be true or if this is 30. Now, you could make this 30 as well, 
and that'll stay true as well, right? With the or, both sides can be true, and it'll work fine. Okay, that's the end of this one. So yeah, just, just write out the criteria, and then throw some numbers in and test it, and just see if it, if it works. Um, hopefully that's good enough. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll, I might do a solutions video in the next, the next video here, so you can check your answers. Okay, now I'm going to put some parentheses around this part, and this totally changes the order, right? Now, we've got the left side here, and then this expression here, right? So this will evaluate first, and then it will compare these two, uh, if this is true and if this is true. So what makes this, this is totally different now. In order to this for this expression to be true, let's make sure I see this, code 1 has to equal 10. Right? Th this part could be true very easily. This can be 20, or this can be 30, or they can both be there. That This side of the expression is true. But it'll never work unless both sides are true because of the and. And this side must be 10. Okay, if it's 10, great, it works. If these are both um, false, it still won't work because I need at least one of them to be true, right? The and means this is 10, and one of these at least, right? This or this has to be true. So 20 should work. Yep. Let's make that 0 again, make this the 30, and that still works. Okay, good. All right, I will leave you to it from here. Um, you guys can practice the rest of these. And, uh, yeah, try to do them on your own. Ask for help if you need it. Put some numbers in and test it and see if it behaves the way you think it should. And then I will do a solutions video in the next video. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.